So how do we fix it? That's the main thing. So I'll explain what I think goes on. How do you fix it? Which involves fixing these deficiencies first, and then you can then fix the vitamin D and iron deficiency, and then hopefully start to get development to occur. But what I would like to point out is if you do not fix this, you cannot fix the rest. And in the kids that are making progress, you see this happens rapidly. And the kids that have got slower, much slower progress, you see that this hasn't been fixed. So that's critical. Just for a note of clarification, I, I tend to use the, um, the scientific symbols for these things. So I is iodine, of course. SE is selenium and MO is molybdenum. So these are the three molecules that are involved in activation of B2 in different uh, situations. Iodine is, made, is used to make thyroid hormone. Selenium is used in the conversion of thyroid hormone T4 to T3. And uh, so you need selenium there. And molybdenum is the final step in converting FMN to FAT. So you need all of these three to activate vitamin B2. So that's iodine, selenium, and molybdenum to activate B2. And you see that B2 is involved in B12 cycling. So if you don't fix this, you just tend to get more B12 that's inactive. So you need to fix this first so you can then use your B12 in supplements or topical. Um, oral doesn't work. And then when you've done that, because of all of this is involved in processing of iron and vitamin D, you need to fix this first so you can then activate these things and process it. If you don't do that, you can add in and you see people who are feeding their kids lots of iron and stuff and it's not making any difference until you fix this. They're all required. They're all required. But this is the critical step. You have to do this.